Bond valuation problem two. McGillivray has a bond issue with a coupon rate of 5.2% that matures in 7.5 years. The bonds have a par value of $1,000 and a market price of $1,055. Interest is paid semi-annually. What is the yield to maturity? Well, this is a straightforward problem. You're given four of the variables and you have to calculate the fifth one. So we just need to label, label the variables appropriately and in case remember that present value is to be entered as a negative number. So first thing to note, what is the period? And as you can see, we have semi-annual. So that's a half a year. That means we're going to make adjustments. So payment is going to be 5.2% times $1,000 time, times $1,000 face value divided by two because of the semi-annual. So we have a $26 per half year payment. We have seven and a half years uh, being the term and we multiply that by two which means we're going to have 15 payments or 15 periods. So that's going to be our N. $1,000 is our future value or face value or par value. Uh, Again, if you're not given a value in with a question, often you can assume it to be a thousand. And one thousand and fifty-five is the present value or the price. And as I mentioned here before, we have to keep in mind that we enter negative one thousand and fifty-five for the present value. So solve for yield. On a B A two plus that means you hit compute and then you hit I over Y. That gives us I over Y equals 2.166%. Now it, it doesn't show percent, uh, it just shows 2.166. Now since this is a semi-annual yield, we have to annualize it. So we multiply that by two and we get our yield to maturity as an APR that's 4.333%. And there you have it, we've calculated the yield to maturity. So, hope that helped and thanks for your attention.